All right, everybody, welcome to this week's Technique Tuesday. Here to assist me today is my young champ, uh, future up and comer. She's been killing it. This is Taylor, all right? Um, she's a little beast, okay? And um, I thought it'd be awesome to use her. She's a recent uh, Kids Pan Champion. She's been winning all sorts of super fights and blah, 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 all right? Um, but anyways, what I wanna do today for the Technique Tuesday is give you a little bit of an inside peek uh, into what I've been filming these last couple of days with the BJ Fanatics crew, all right? Um, in fact, Dylan, why don't you just flip the camera around that way and show the camera set up right there, all right? Uh, they've been working, filming up here, okay? You also showed the mess that we have over in the corner. They're supposed to go this way, Dylan, Sorry, but sir. it's all good. Um, but anyways, yes, the, the Fanatics crew, they've been set up here. We've been knocking out some awesome material. And I want to give you guys a little sneak peek as to what we've been working on, all right? We did uh, Open Guard Foundations earlier this year. And uh, these last couple days, um, we've been working on the Open Guard Advanced series, all right? Um, we just wrapped it up today. It's over three hours, tons and tons of uh, really good content in there. And I, like I said, I want to give you a little inside peek, all right? So this advanced series is all about as the pastor starts to bring one knee up and then also go all the way into a standing position to look to pass and how we shut down their offense and open up our offense, okay? So Taylor, she's a great passer, great top game. Want to use her. So Taylor, let's say uh, I was playing spider with Taylor, okay? And, you know, she starts to posture up, stand, where now I feel like I'm losing a lot of my tension with my feet in the biceps, all right? So in this situation, I love to come down and make a pant grip. Um, so I'm going to uh, relieve one of the sleeves and grab the pants. Usually it's the right leg that's, that's closer because people love to stand with their right leg forward, all right? So now I have uh, her left sleeve and her right pant leg, okay? Now from here, this opens up my offense. This is just what I want to illustrate to you guys, okay? We focus on three main areas of the game when the person is standing, okay? And that is getting to a deep De La Hiva X, sitting up around the leg, or getting underneath for some sweeps, all right? And what I love about playing this way is I can disrupt her base. I can be kicking her leg and, and making her off balance, okay? I can stay active with this leg, working against her, her arm, her hip, and all the while making sure I don't let her establish a headquarters. So anytime she grabs my leg and tries to stuff it, I can pull and break that grip off and keep my legs in the game, okay? Instead of letting her get tighter and tighter, yes, all the way into that good headquarters where now I'm a lot more, you know, vulnerable, okay? So make sure to keep my leg free, all right? Breaking her base, keeping my legs active. Now all my options start to open up, okay? First with a, a deep De La Hiva. So I can step on her thigh here and rotate onto my shoulder so I can reach my leg all the way through for that deep De La Hiva, make my De La Hiva X, and now I'm ready to start to make her off balance and eventually sweep that little beast over. <laughs> all right, she didn't want to go because she loves to be on top. And get a nice little easy sweep there, all of which I break down in, in big detail inside the series, okay? My next option is as I extend her leg to open up my opportunity to set up around the leg, all right? And what I love is I already have this sleeve and normally they want to get that foot off of their thigh. So as they reach down and push that off, all right, I can reach the sleeve grip that I like, okay? Make a little adjustment with my hip. So I'm in good position to now grab her collar and start to bring her over. Once again, sweeping into one of my favorite spots, the side smash, all right? which is exactly where I would have landed on the other sleeves as well, okay? That's a big thing I talk about in the Open Guard series, okay? So, we have Di De Hiva, we have sitting up on the leg. How do we get under from here as well, all right? Now I can utilize the foot on the bicep, step on the floor, and start to bring her over, where now I can bring my foot inside her hip, my left foot is right along her belt, and here I can start to kick her all the way over. Look at that great balance she has, all right? <laughs> Uh, one more time, okay? When I'm playing my game, keeping my legs free, messing with her base, her balance, always checking, neutralizing, boom, I get under. Now right here, look at my foot, it comes right through. Sit up a little bit, Taylor, please. You see my foot is right in front of her belt, all right? 
This gives me a lot of leverage together. Now both my feet are starting to press and I can push that leg high in the air, come up and now I'm ready. Boom, I got my X pass and all my follow-ups lined up, which I talk about throughout the whole series, okay? Are all the, the pass and follow-ups that I would do which, with each attack, each sweep. Um, so it really puts my whole game together. And um, like I said, I'm super excited. It's over three hours long. So everyone can check that out on BJ Fanatics or you become a Timeless Jiu Jitsu Online Academy member and uh, you will get that included um, on the highest membership level. So um, looking forward for you guys to see it. I hope this little bit helps you out today, at least just understanding those cross grips and all the options that we have there and how I can stop their headquarters, all right? Wishing you guys a great week of training. Thank you, Taylor, for the help. All right, all the best, guys.